Good morning, it's Jeff and Wilma Budrum. I just want to introduce you to our native beehive. This is an Australian native bee. Wilma's been wanting to get a native beehive for quite some time and because we're in the yellow pages as beekeepers, uh, somebody rang us up and offered us this native beehive. It was in her worm farm and she didn't want them there. So we was able to come and collect them and I made a box. I was guided by one of our honey customers who keeps native bees and he gave us a dim the dimensions of the box. It started off uh, very weak and there wasn't much activity in the, at the entrance but it's starting to get a bit more activity now. They don't seem to be concerned about us being here whatsoever. It's uh, handy to know that these are stingless bees so none of the Australian native bees will sting you but apparently some of them will bite. Now this hole here is about half inch half inch hole and what I'm going to do before it gets too strong is take the lid off and have a look inside. It's becoming quite popular to keep bees in your backyard and uh, native bees are, are an ideal way to keep bees to get pollination and things like that. The beauty of it is you, you, know, you can have them with your kids and no one gets stung. The man who gave us the dimensions to build the box by gave us a little sample of, of the honey out of his native bees. So we had a taste of that and it's quite different to normal honey. We can sort of do a few updates on this hive down the track. Are you ready to go? Now let's have a look and see what's inside. Wow. Yeah, they've done a bit. Oh, it's grown since we put it in there. Yeah. Three times the size. Have a look at what they've done near the entrance. Sort oh, of a, yeah, it's a, a great big... I was reading that they do that and not to remove it. can't believe how much bigger it is. It's amazing. There's still a couple of eggshells on there from the uh, worm farm. Look at that boots on that little one up there running around the top. Pollen and that. So I better close them up. So what's the dimensions? I'll, have to, I'll just give you the dimensions. The wood I had was a little bit higher so I left it at that height. 140 so I think I was told to make it 120 or 130 so I, I had a bit of wood about 140 so I left it at that. But the inside measurements are 210 I think by 280. So we've got 210 by 280. So I think we just got to let it build up and uh, work out when we can split it and make it's another. It's only been there a couple of weeks hasn't it? Yeah, a couple <laughs> of weeks. We have to make sure, keep an eye on it and make sure the ants can't get to it. Ants and spiders are ants and spiders so anyway I'll close it off I think you can get about a kilo of honey a year out of them something like that anyway thanks for watching and we'll catch you later bye